Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 4th of 2020. Well, it is titled NGC 2442 galaxy in Volans. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a galaxy and a type of galaxy known as a barred spiral. Now a barred spiral has a central bar of material going through the center and then the, the spiral arms coming off the edges of that bar. Now that differs from an ordinary spiral galaxy where the spiral arms seem to twirl right out of the center. Now in this case the spiral arms appear to be distorted where we can see one that's much longer and one that is much shorter and generally when we see a galaxy that has been distorted it is because it is interacting gravitationally with something else or has done so in the recent past. So usually that's what happens to galaxies is that galaxies are very large compared to the distances between them. So collisions between galaxies can be quite common. And they're rarer now than they used to be early in the history of the universe. But that's how we believe galaxies have grown over time. That very small galaxies and large star clusters that originally formed after the Big Bang slowly merged together and formed the great spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. So the distortions that we see in galaxies like this are a temporary phase while galaxies are colliding and they've been distorted by the gravity of the galaxies pulling material out and compressing material enhancing the star formation and then slowly that will then uh, settle down and eventually many times the galaxies will coalesce together into a single much larger galaxy. Now within a galaxy like this a spiral galaxy we do see a lot of signs of star formation as well. The red glow that we see throughout the spiral arms is hydrogen gas glowing. And when hydrogen gas is excited, it glows red. However, to see it excited, we need ultraviolet radiation to excite that hydrogen gas. Normally, hydrogen gas is just clear and doesn't give off any light. But when ultraviolet radiation strikes it, it can excite the electrons. And one of the things that it gives off is a distinct red color. So in order to get that ultraviolet radiation, we need hot stars. Stars like our sun put out a little bit of ultraviolet radiation, but not a whole lot. It takes a much hotter star that may be two or three times the temperature of our sun to be able to give off lots of ultraviolet radiation to be able to energize large regions of space like this. So while these may look like little dots or stars, these are actually very large regions, many, many light years across that are great hydrogen regions in a way similar to the Orion Nebula that we look at within our own galaxy. Uh, and some of these can be that on an even much larger scale. Now the blue coloring that we see is a lot of those stars. So a lot of the stars there are very hot blue stars, which are the hottest and the brightest and dominate the light from the galaxy. So when those blue stars are present, they are the dominant and they give the galaxy a bluish color, but they don't live a very long time. So most of those hot blue stars are the ones that will also go supernova at some point and blow themselves apart. So they don't live a very long time as well. So it's the fact that we see them and those hydrogen regions are signs that this galaxy is forming stars at this time. So that was our picture of the day for August the 4th of 2020. It was titled NGC 2442 Galaxy in Volens. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Sun Dagger. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.